I think this week's thumbnail perfectly encapsulates what the NFL has gone through this week. And it was a crazy, crazy week 13. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, man. First off, let's... I mean, there's another Tuesday night game. There's that. That's fun, right? That's fun. But we'll talk about that game last. Um... <laughs> First things first, we got to get, you know, the Saints out of the way. Saints beat the Falcons by five. It really, the game was never really in doubt, you know. I mean, the Falcons did have a chance at the end to win the game. But the Saints, you know, they just did what they needed to do, which was win the game. And they have clinched a playoff spot. Good for the Saints. Good for them. So, you know, Taysom Hill finally throws a couple touchdowns, and there you go. Saints clinched. A playoff spot. Browns, Titans, one of the more anticipated games of the day, and it turned into a blowout very early. It was 38 to 7 at one point. I mean, everybody was balling. Landry Jones, not Landry, Jarvis Landry. My bad. I I said Landry Jones. My my goodness. Jarvis Landry was balling. Nick Chubb was balling. You know. Baker Mayfield was throwing touchdowns to Donovan Peoples-Jones and stuff like that. It was crazy. And then the Titans came back somehow. I don't know how in the world the Titans came all the way back and nearly, you know, got the onside kick the second time to win this game. But, hey, the Browns, they are 9-3 and three now. They've proven themselves against the big time about it. Now, they just got to finish. You know, you can't blow leads like that. But they do have they they did do what they need to do. They did that. And that was would be the team that that that's worth, you know, a lot. The Titans. They gotta be feeling something right now. So what about the Lions and the Bears? Um, well, Bears had a ten point lead in this game, and guess what? This time this time, they're the ones who blew the lead. They blew the 10-point lead to the Lions, and the Lions would by four. So, crazy stuff right there. Dolphins took care of the Bengals, and then, you know, there was a whole bunch of nonsense going on in that game. I mean, there was a whole scuffle, a skirmish, a brouhaha, you know, breaking out during that game, and... I mean, two players from Miami were ejected. There was supposed to be two players from Cincinnati ejected, you know, but that didn't happen. I, I, I don't know why, but it doesn't even matter because, I mean, the Dolphins win. Bengals are eliminated from the playoff contention anyway. Vikings, they are back in the playoff discussion by beating the Jags in overtime. Now, it did take overtime to beat the Jags. But the Vikings are back in the playoff discussion. In fact, they have taken over the seventh seed spot now. Thanks to some later results. All it took for the Colts to beat the Texans was a botch snap near the goal line and fumble. That was pretty much it. I mean, the Colts, they, they got lucky this week because, I mean, the Texans were driving. They had it. And it was very close, you know, very close game for the Colts against Texas. But, hey, you know, now things are looking interesting in the AFC South. Titans, Colts, wonder how that race will go. And now here we go. The real, the real kicker was the Raiders and the Jets. Let me tell you, the Jets had the lead late in this game. The Jets had the lead late in this game. And you know what happened? You know what happened? They got beat by Henry Ruggs sending eight guys on the pass rush. You know that that's a recipe for disaster. You know that's a recipe for disaster. Because Henry Ruggs is one of the fastest men in the NFL. In fact, he is the fastest man in the NFL. Raiders barely get the job done. The Jets, they continue to lose and lose and lose and lose and that sweet, sweet smell of 0-16 is inching ever so closer for the Jets. 
in a very surprising game, let me tell you, the Giants beat the Seahawks. Very surprising. The Giants have a two are tied for first place in the NFC East. They are tied for first place in the NFC East. Seahawks looked absolutely god awful out there. How do you let Colt McCoy and Alfred Morris score on you? How do you let this happen, Seahawks? Come on now. Come on. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. So what about the Rams and the Cardinals? The the NFC West is looking extremely interesting thanks to the Seahawks loss. And I'm still puzzled at that loss. So what was going to happen with the, with the Rams-Cardinals? Oh, let me tell you. Rams took care of the Cardinals. Very surprising result there. I mean, the Rams just had the cards number throughout that game. And, I mean, it was getting hard to watch, you know. The, I mean, the Cardinals just could not make plays. They could not They could not get any points in the red zone. Yeah, they got 28, but it, it felt like they left a lot of points to be desired out there. And the Rams just did what they needed to do on defense. You know, that Rams defense is tough. And so they just, they just easily took care of business. And the Rams are definitely in good position now in the NFC West. The Patriots are back in the playoff picture. Easy victory against the Chargers, who are now eliminated from playoff contention. Just 45 to nothing. Absolutely disgraceful performance by the Chargers. I mean, punts were getting blocked. Interceptions were being had. Cam Newton was playing like Cam Newton of old. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I, I really don't get it. It's crazy. So what about those Eagles? What about what about the Eagles? I mean, come on, you already know what the answer is. The Eagles are trash. They are terrible. They suck. I mean, the Packers, you know, they they kind of struggled a little bit. You know, the Packers did. You know, once the Eagles finally started to get going, and once Carson Wentz got benched for Jalen Hurts, and Jalen Hurts ends up throwing an interception anyway in this game. Yeah, the Packers took care of business. They were up big early, and they really didn't need to do too much after that. Aaron Jones with a 75-yard touchdown run to basically ice the game at 30-16. So, yeah, that was that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, you got the Chiefs and the Broncos on Sunday night. Not really, it wasn't supposed to be this intriguing, but it ended up being intriguing. In fact, the Chiefs should have won this game by two touchdowns, but there was a pass that Tariq Hill caught, and for some reason it wasn't challenged. I don't know why. Doesn't make any sense. But the Chiefs, they have clinched the playoff spot anyway. It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. It really doesn't. <laughs> they, they beat the Broncos. Honestly, we expect... You know, the, the the Steelers to lose at some point. And they lost to the football team. You lost to a team with no name. 23-17. I don't even have to explain this one. Like, Steelers fans can explain this better than I can because, I mean, come on. There have been so many issues with the Steelers the past few weeks where they have not been able to put away opponents. Drop passes rough looking defense you know what I mean you know sloppy play on offense you know I mean just everything's culminating into that and a loss finally happens for the Pittsburgh Steelers so now the Chiefs should be in front they should be the one seed now I'm not sure how that's working um yeah I believe the Broncos are also eliminated from playoff contention so there's that um, I know the Bengals are done. I know the Jags are done. Oh, yeah, Bengals, Jags, uh, Chargers, and, and the Jets. Th those are the four teams. Not the, not the Broncos just yet, but I think they're pretty much done. So there's that. Bills. Josh Allen put up a great performance against the 49ers. I mean, he was out there flexing on the Niners. Niners fall to 5-7. and seven. Absolutely disgusting performance. You know, you, you just get out -dueled. I mean, the 49ers have been hit by the injury bug so much this year. Corona, it's crazy. So, 
last but certainly not least is my Dallas Cowboys taking on the Baltimore Ravens and it was ugly from the get-go it was ugly from the get-go Des Bryant tested positive for COVID said he's done over the year he, he, he was just like I'm done screw this I'm done I've tested positive I was gonna play against my former team and everything like that now, you know, he know he knows it's risky. Sure, it may be a little bit emotional, but he knows it's risky to be out there. You know, and, and I mean, Lamar Jackson came back. I mean, I was sitting here thinking, like, why is he back? Shouldn't he be off for another few days? Then again, it is a Tuesday night game. It should have been a, it should have been you know a, a Thursday night game, but I don't I don't know I don't I don't get it. I don't care. At this point, the Cowboys are trash. This is just the culmination of everything. I was so disinterested watching this game. Let me tell you, it was rough. It was rough to watch. There's only four weeks left in the season, and we could I, I can just forget about the Cowboys, and I can just focus on the NFL playoffs, honestly. This, this is just rough to watch. <sighs> But yeah, week 13, man, gave us a lot of stuff. Gave us so much here that we need to dissect. There are 28 teams left in playoff contention somehow. I don't know how, but there's 28 teams left. Probably less than that thanks to the AFC. You know, looking much stronger than the NFC this year. And now the... The final month of the season is upon us. We we are in that push towards the playoffs. And there is going to be and now games that didn't look interesting a month ago have now gained a lot of intrigue. So with that being said, everybody, I'm going to get on up out of here, get ready for my week 14 preview um, as I'm uploading this video and stuff like that. Y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you later.